Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, no weighty Wednesday today, purely um, because it would feel like a lie. Um, I am still comfort eating, I am still a bit of, a little bit down in the dumps, trying to kind of be positive and moving forward. Um, July is always a rough time of year for me anyway because it is the anniversary of my father's death. So I always seem to eat more in that month, um, just because you get a sad little bunny and you comfort eat. And then still whole, to be com keep on being told that I am overqualified for jobs is really frustrating. So yeah, it would just feel like I'm lying if I did a weighty Wednesday. Uh, because even though you know I try and be healthy and it lasts for a couple of days, and then something will happen and it's like, hmm, let's eat some cheese. <laughs> so, staying with the food theme, um, I'm going to do a food haul today. Um, I've not done one of these before, but I watch them on other people's channel and I do think they're quite interesting. So hopefully you'll like it. So the Tesco man has just been and delivered all my shopping. Um, so I'm going to show you what we've got. Uh, don't think it's in any particular order, but we'll give it a go. Um, first thing, I got some gnocchi. We have this a lot. It's something I should really learn to make, but my understanding is you have to peel hot boiling. You boil the potatoes and you have to peel them while they're still hot. And um, I don't think my hands would take it. But yeah, some gnocchi. And then we got some crackers, a lunchtime favourite. And then we have some chocolate digestives. And we have two tins of Heinz baked beans. You'll notice within there are some things that are branded and some things which are Tesco own brand. Um, we do that because obviously finances are tight. And there are certain things that taste really nice and they're the value range. But there's certain things that we'd only go for the main brand because that's what we like. Um, I've got some Tesco everyday wraps think we're going to have these tonight but I'm um, going to do them with some Diet Coke chicken and then I have some burger buns they were buy one get one free I believe um, so it's just it was cheaper than bread this week so we have those and then I got a courgette and then trifle for John <clears throat> he can't eat one of those in one sitting um, this is mine, the Everyday Value Sugar-Free Cola. Um, it's horrible at room temperature, but I keep a bottle in the fridge and it's really nice. I enjoy it. This is John's um, Full Fat <laughs> Pepsi. Um, I will drink it. I find it a little bit too sweet for me. Um, black pudding. I know a lot of people hate this, but me and John both really like it. Um... This is an okay one, I must admit, because John's from Lancashire, obviously he's got high expectations because everybody knows the best black pudding comes from Bury. Um, then we've got some bacon and 24 meatballs. I like these ones because, obviously that's far too much for me and John for one meal, because they're wrapped packed separately. You can freeze one. And some breakfast sausages, mushrooms, tomatoes. Lettuce, it's iceberg lettuce, it's not that amazing, but you put stuff with it and it kind of makes it alive. Um, some roulard garlicky cheese, some cheddar, some cheese slices, um, a fish pie mix, which is really yummy. It's got salmon, cod and haddock in, really nice. Um, some red milk, we always try and get Cravendale because it's nice and also it lasts ages, it doesn't go off in the fridge. Um, then half a cucumber, some coleslaw, some pure dairy free butter. Um, I originally tried this when I was doing the 30 day vegan challenge last year. Um, really, really like it and I've kind of stuck with it. It's always on buy one get one free or two for two pound at Tesco's as well, so it's really cheap. It tastes just the same as normal spread, um, but it's better for you. And then back here, oh, I've got 
got some salmon fillips topped with uh, garlic and herb butter. Looks really yummy. We've got two of those. We've got some keep me bananas. They're cheaper if you get them green. In this heat they'll go yellow really quickly so it doesn't really matter. Down a cucumber. I've got four red onions, a red pepper, two limes. And then in the frozen section, we've got hash brown waffles. John loves those. Some bird's eye frozen burgers. And some bird's eye fish. We don't normally buy battered fish, but it was an offer. So that's what we did. And that is what we got. So it's quite a lot of food. Now, including delivery, this was £50. Let's doubly check. Let me zoom out. Um, yes, see, fifty pounds exactly, and that's including delivery. So I think it's really good, and this will do us for over a week. Obviously, there's things in the freezer and things so. And in the food cupboard that makes other meals that you may only use one of these. Like for example, we'll have these, and then we've got some potatoes that we got from the vegetable, the farm shop. Um, so we have jacket potatoes with these, and a portion of the beans. Um, and then you know we've got chicken in the freezer that came from the farm shop and things like that. So this isn't everything we'll eat, and no doubt no John. <laughs> I want takeaway or pizza at some point this week. Um, but there is probably eight meals here. If we did a better portion control, there'd probably be more. But yeah, that is what I bought. Um, I really quite like home delivery. Um, worst thing about Tesco's is they will only give you a two-hour slot, whereas someone like Sainsbury's give you an hour slot. But they are cheaper. I think you can, depending on the time of the day, Tesco's, I think the cheapest they do it is £2. And I'm quite sure Sainsbury's is around a fiver. So if you're on a budget, like we are, this is what you got to do. And also you get club car points. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.